Well, hello guys, this is Michiel for the effectsdatabase.com. Um, Bart gave me this pedal to demo for you guys. Uh, it's called the Dynamorph uh, by Totally Wicked Audio. And it is not just a fuzz, not just a distortion or a filter or a synth. It's uh, all of that at the same time, actually. Um, it isn't really a straightforward uh, pedal with like drive, tone, sustain. Um, so before I'm gonna let you hear it, I'm gonna give you a little more uh, information about these controls. Because you know, it says Ecdysis and uh, Instar, Chrysalis, stuff like that. So I'm gonna explain the controls to you guys um, in pairs. These two, the Ecdysis and the Chrysalis, then the uh, Holometaboli and the uh, uh, Amatabili and then the instar and the gestation. So the first pair, Ecdysis and Chrysalis. Ecdysis is the drive knob and the Chrysalis um, the uh, gain, yeah, at the peak there. Um, so the gain, this little one here, Chrysalis, is the gain, Ecdysis the drive. Then uh, these two, the, the central pair, so to speak, um, it's actually the wet and the dry effect uh, level. So this is your dry and this is the effect. And then the instar and the gestation, those work uh, in combination with the morph button. Uh, when you turn the morph button on in the upward position, uh, what happens then is that the amount of drive, ecdysis drive, uh, is controlled by your playing dynamics. So I'm going to show it to you uh, later on, uh, but first I'm going to start the demo with the morph in the off uh, position. Okay, and then uh, last but not least, we've got right here um, the mode, which is Ovid and Kafka. Um, I'm just going to read what the, the instruction of the manufacturer says. It says that Ovid is uh, fuller sounding uh, and Kafka has more emphasis uh, in the high frequency range. So both modes uh, are two different overall EQ curves and with Ovid being fuller sounding and Kafka more emphasis on the high frequencies. Okay, um, I'm gonna start a loop that I prepared for you guys and just gonna, gonna give you my signal chain. I will put all of this information in uh, the description box below. So you, while you're watching this video, you can, you can see for yourself, oh yeah, that was the drive, this was a uh, uh, gestation, you know. Uh, so it's all explained there. Um, my signal chain, it's uh, uh, an American precision strung with labella flats, fairly new flats. It goes into the looper function of my uh, alter ego, then into the dynamorph, and that goes into uh, a Focusrite interface, eye track, uh, solo, um, and then, you know, probably there's going to be this little YouTube compression added, but uh, it, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, um, without further ado, let's dive in. I must say I'm going to keep the Amatabili, which is uh, the dry, I'm going to keep it rather low so you can and, and the holo metaboli uh, which is the effect level um gonna keep it more you know at the, the 12 o'clock until full wet uh, so you know you really can hear uh the details uh going on in this pedal because it's really um it's a really really musical kind of drive and filtering going on uh okay so i'm gonna fade in my um, dry signal.
Chrysalis again. Fully counterclockwise right now. And now it's fully clockwise. Gonna slowly dial it back again. Drive and gain are both at the 12 o'clock position right now. So you see, you can sub substantially boost uh, with the, the effects level here. So, you know, if I, of course, if I turn this uh, effects level all the way down, it really is, uh, I can still hear it a little bit through my headphones. I don't know whether that will get through. I'm gonna add it back in. This is, this is uh, fully wet. Okay, add in the clean signal back in at about 10 o'clock. Let's switch on the morph.
There was a threshold, the instar threshold. That was the rate. Okay, switching off the morph again and I'm gonna let you hear the difference between Ovid and Kafka. Going for a total mayhem now. Okay, totally wicked audio, Dynamorph.